house without headphones because I love listening to music. I feel the most powerful when I'm Blackpink. Having my girls by my side and doing, doing what we love, performing on stage, interacting with fans, I think. Well, I've gotten a lot of advices in my life, but recently I'm gonna go with, it's okay to slow down and take your time. So the last time I was in set was, I think for our video shutdown for Blackpink. And we didn't sleep for a good four days and we had to shoot right through it there was a lot of choreographies to do, which we actually learned in the spot. So, yeah, that was very memorable. Seoul, my house with my dogs and my family. I always like to stay creative um, every day. If I watch anything, if I listen to anything, I try to be inspired, but recently, I'll have to say, working on a new album, Born Pink, for Blackpink. Just being in the studio, hanging out with the girls, and our producer, Teddy. It's just wherever, whatever conversation we have, it becomes a part of our story. So I think, yeah, being in the studio. The Chanel look that I had last March in Paris. I had a black puffy jacket with a subtle Chanel logo and a matching set inside a cute mini skirt and a corset. I did this really cute braided hair that I've never tried before, but turned out to be really amazing. I loved it. And then I had a little ribbon sock with a cute, cute high heel moment. Yeah. My biggest cheerleader, number one cheerleader of all time is my mom, of course. And I think the girls, like, we love supporting each other and, like, always rooting for what they've got going on in their lives. My favorite comfort food is nurungji, and you guys could look it up. <laughs> so I carry my own nurungji in my suitcase everywhere I go, so I could eat it while I'm traveling or at work or at home. So I have it in my bag pretty much every day. Choosing between so many things. Three things I can't live without. My family, my friends, and my fans. Three apps I need in my life. Mm -hmm.